Otumfu Obedu Bonso II, king of Ahanta Badu Bonsu II was the leader of the Ahanta tribe and a Ghanaian king who was executed in 1838 by the Dutch, who, at the time, were in control of the Dutch Gold Coast. The final funeral rites of Otumfu Obedu Bonso II king of Ahanta, who was captured and beheaded by the Dutch in 1838, were held in the third week of August 2012. The Ahanta tribe's ruler was lynched by the crew of a Dutch trading galleon in 1838 as part of a mafia-style offer the country could not refuse. In this video I'll be telling you the story of King Nana Badu Bonsu, the Ghanaian king who was beheaded after killing Dutch invaders. From Lilibet. Nana Bonso was a courageous king who by his confrontation with the Dutch authorities, booked his place in the history of Ghana as one of the great African chiefs who resisted the domination, exploitation, and underdevelopment of Africa by the European powers. He was assassinated for his fortitude in fighting against the heinous crimes and slave trade by the Dutch. The king's head was taken and kept at a medical laboratory at the Leiden University Medical Center in the Netherlands for 172 years. His remains were returned to Ghana in 2009 with the support of late President John Evans Ada Mills, after diplomatic exchanges between Ghana and the Dutch authorities. The government of Ghana also has taken care of the building of a befitting mausoleum for the mortal remains of the late king. In 1837 King Badu Bonsu II, Beda Bonsu II, of Ahanta rebelled against the Dutch colonialists and killed several Dutch officers, including the acting governor Tunaboager using a treaty they had signed with the Ahanta state in 1656 as the basis for military action, the Dutch sent an expeditionary force to Ahanta. In the war, King Badu Bonsu II was decapitated and his head was sent to the Netherlands. Following the execution of King Badu Bonsu, his body was desecrated as a Dutch surgeon removed his head. The head was taken to the Netherlands, where it was soon lost for more than a century. The Dutch reorganized the Ahanta state by appointing the chief of Butra as regent, and keeping the state under its close control. Du Bonsu II, a Ghanaian chief, beheaded by the Dutch colonialists in revenge attack in the 1730s and had since been kept at Leiden Museum, Netherlands. When the Dutch transferred their possessions in the Gold Coast to the British on April 6, 1872, the Treaty of 1656 was still in effect, having regulated political relations between the Dutch and the Ahanta state for more than 213 years. The head was rediscovered in the Leiden University Medical Center, LUMC, in the Netherlands by Dutch author Arthur Japin, who had read the account of the head during research for his 1997 novel Dit Zwarte met het wit hart. Japin found the head in 2005, stored in formaldehyde at the LUMC. In March 2009, government officials announced that it would be returned to its homeland for proper burial, a promise fulfilled on July 23, 2009. The Ahanta, based near the coast, were the first tribe to trade with the Portuguese. But as a descendant of King Badu Bonsu lamented July 24, 2009, their friendly and generous nature was taken for weakness. They fought back when they realized the Europeans were up to no good and despite facing down cannons with bows and arrows, they managed to stand their ground. And that's it guys, sure do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.